4-4 ball game as we head to the 19th inning. Hillsborough four runs, 15 hits in error. Vancouver four runs, seven hits in error. The Hops bullpen has thrown 14 scoreless innings since Platt gave up three in the third. And with the call of the 19th inning, here's Rich Burke. Now there's a sentence that's never been said. Here in the 19th, Dreamer Camacho will face Andy Fermin, Justin Atkinson, and Mike Reeves. Camacho into his third inning of work. Remember, he worked five innings on Wednesday, so working on three days rest. And the first pitch, fastball in there for a strike. That is, by my count, his 27th pitch. Fermin grounded the first, struck out, grounded the first, struck out, fouled to the catcher, looped out to short, and struck out. Change floats outside one and one. He is 0 for 7. Hops pitchers have recorded 21 strikeouts today, three shy of the league record by one staff in a game. Fastball in there, inside corner, one and one. 4 4 tie. We're in the top of the 19th inning. Wow. Bring it on, baby. Let's go the distance. League record 25 innings. 1-2 pitch. Slider is in the dirt. Might have taken a bite out of the catcher, Grant Nelson. 2-2. I think he's okay. Maybe he did get him. The plate umpire Christopher Lloyd saying something to him. Nelson going all 19 innings. They have three catchers, but they used Elvin Soto as a pinch hitter. The 2-2 pitch swung on poke toward third. McCurry fields the ball off the base, way back of the back, guns it across and got him. I think it hit the top of the base, if not right near it, and it was a great play by McCurry. One away. That ball could have hit the base and gone any number of directions. Justin Atkinson comes up. One for seven. Andy Fermin is 0 for eight. He's having a bad week today alone. We're in the top of the 19th inning. It's a 4-4 tie. One out, none on. Camacho righty to righty. Pitch taken high and tight. Ball one to Justin Atkinson. Atkinson has one home run this year. His one hit today was a single. He struck out three times today. Camacho swinging that right arm down. Now the right-hander comes set. The 1-0 pitch. Slider down in the way. Two balls and no strikes. Camacho issued a two-out walk after a double by Ian Parmley to Chaz Frank in the 17th inning, his first inning of work. The 2-0 pitch. Fastball outside. Ball three. Didn't miss by much, but I believe it did miss. Mike Reeves is on deck. It would be his first at-bat of the day. The Hops can't put in Josbel Gutierrez to catch because then they'd be without a backup catcher. The 3-0 pitch, and it's taken a little low ball four, a one-out walk here in the 19th inning, and it brings up the freshest guy in the ballpark, Mike Reeves. Mike Reeves... 14 games hitting 426. One double, six runs batted in. Atkinson, the runner at first, hasn't attempted a steal in 20 games. Do you count this one as two? Would that be 21 games? The pitch taken in there for a strike at the knees. 0-1 the count. Rich Burke along with Matt Rickard. Mike Shacker back in studio. Camacho swinging that right arm down, looking over his shoulder at Atkinson, leading from first, hoping for a double play ball. Reeves up there from the left side, and the pitch. Fastball misses inside, one and one. Reeves started the first three games of this series. Left-hand hitter out of Peterborough, Ontario, a Canadian playing for the Vancouver Canadians. Yesterday was two for four with a walk and two runs scored. 1-1 1-1 pitch, swung on and fouled at home plate, and that got the plate umpire Christopher Lloyd. 1-2 and two the count. When the hops come up in the bottom of the, get this, 19th inning, they'll have Leonard, Ratliff, and Gebhardt, 9-1-2 in the batting order. 
Grant Nelson out to talk with Joymer Camacho. Camacho's first appearance of the series, he's rubbing up the baseball, standing on the back slope of the mound. Now he toes the pitching rubber. Atkinson leads at first. One on, one out. Top of the 19th inning, a 4-4 tie. We have not had a run since the fourth frame. The one-two pitch to Reeves. Slider poked on the ground out towards short. Gebhardt has it. Underhand to Leonard. He's on the bag. Throw to first. Double play. Well, let's see what the hops can do. We go to the bottom of the 19th inning. Leonard, Ratliff, and Gebhardt do up. It's a 4-4 tie. We have not had a run since the bottom of the fourth when the Hobbs scored four unearned runs. We're going to the bottom of the 19th inning. John Leonard will start it off, then Taylor Ratliff and Ryan Gebhardt against Burley right-hander Chuck Geisels into his third inning of work. There is no one out of the Hops bullpen. I mean no one. John Leonard steps in. Likeable second baseman. Geisels ready from a stretch with no one on. He delivers, and Leonard runs up to Bunt. Bunts it back toward Geisels. He backhands it. He plans. He throws low and past the first baseman, Leland. Digging for second is Leonard. He will be in there sliding. An error on Chuck Geisels. The second error of the game on Vancouver, and the first in the last 15 innings. The error on a ball hit by Ryan Gebhardt back in the fourth by shortstop Dickie Thon, who was ejected a game and a half ago. That led to four unearned runs for the Hops. A two-base throwing error by Chuck Geisels. And now Taylor Ratliff, let's see if he's up to bunt him over to third. The Hops tried that after a leadoff double by George Roberts in the 11th inning. They tried Nelson bunting Roberts over to third, or the pinch runner Billigan, but he was thrown out. Ratliff squares to bunt, pulls it back, and takes outside from Geisel's ball one. Brian Gebhardt on deck. The outfield is shallow. The effort hopes to throw a runner out at the plate. Leonard at second, Ratliff at the plate. Righty to lefty, Geisel's pitch. Instead of pick, pick off fake, and the shortstop, Vasquez wasn't covering. Inside pick off fake, and if he was, they might have had Leonard hung up. Ratliff, fly to left, fly to center, fly to center, doubled to center, singled to second, walked, sacrificed, and grounded to second. A look back at second by Geisels. The 1-0 pitch. Ratliff squares to bunt, pulls it back. The ball goes all the way back to the screen. Hits the screen hard, and ricochets back out to the pitcher, Geisels. The winning run is 90 feet away. Here in the bottom of the 19th inning. It's a pass ball against Mike Reeves. And this is just his second inning back of the plate. The winning run 90 feet away. The infield in. The outfield is in. It looks like the company softball game. The crowd chants, let's go hops. Let's go hops. Trying to will them across the finish line in the bottom of the 19th. The 2-0 to Ratliff. He takes a breaking ball in the dirt. The save by Mike Reeves. Three balls and no strikes. Ryan Gebhardt on deck. 4-4 time, the last of the 19th. Many in the crowd on their feet chanting, let's go hops, let's go hops. Geisels looks into Reeves to get the sign. Leonard carrying the winning run in his hip pocket at third base. 3-0 pitch, swung on and missed. Ratliff swinging on 3-0 and why not? Figure out a way to get him home. A fly ball deep enough does the job. Parmley in left, Frank in center, Kalfas in right. Kalfas has a good arm. The 3-1 pitch coming up to Ratliff, and he swings and comes up empty on a slider, three and two. Ryan Gebhardt stretching out, takes the donut off his bat on deck, now puts it back on. Leonard at third base with a winning run on the bottom of the 19th inning. There's the chant. Let's go hops again. Righty to lefty. Geisels to Ratliff. The 3-2 pitch is on the way. Swung on and tap foul by Ratliff. He just got a piece. And Rich, Ratliff should be sitting on breaking pitch every pitch here, wouldn't you think? Why would you throw a fastball for a strike in this situation if you're Geisels? 
Well, let's see. He's throwing him back-to-back sliders. He threw him a 3-0 fastball, which Taylor fouled off, and then a 3-1 slider, which he swung at and missed, and then a 3-2 slider, which he fouled off. I don't even know why you would pitch to him here. The 3-2 pitch is coming up from Geisels to Ratliff. It's on its way. Breaking ball is tapped foul at home plate again. Another slider. And it's still 3-2. and two. The eighth pitch of the duel coming up. We are in the last half of the 19th inning. It's a 4-4 tie. A remarkable day here at Hillsborough Ballpark. A remarkable day turned into evening. John Leonard, the winning run at third base with nobody out. The 3-2 pitch, the infield drawn in. Ratliff swings and comes up empty on a slider. Here comes Ryan Gebhardt. He has hit in six straight. He is 0 for 7 today with a sacrifice bunt. What a time to extend the hitting streak to seven games. Here in the last half of the 19th inning, winning run at third, the infield still in, the outfield still in. The Hops have struggled this year with situational hitting. Put the ball in play and make something happen. The pitch coming up. Breaking ball, a swing and a miss. 0-1 the count to Gebhardt. Is the contact play? Otto Vicente told me yesterday he would not put the contact play on with a runner at third and none out, meaning the runner coming from third automatically when the ball is hit. He would do it with one out in certain spots. The 0-1 pitch to Gebhardt. Breaking ball, he shows but a safety squeeze. He pulled it back and took ball one. A safety squeeze. Leonard was not coming automatically. He was only coming if the bunt got down. Gebhardt backs out, adjusts his batting gloves. Back in now. Atkin at center at third. Vasquez at short. Fermin at second. Leland at first. They're in. The 1-1 pitch from Chuck Geisels to Ryan Gebhardt. Swung on and missed. A slider. It's one and two. Again, you're just going to get a steady diet of sliders from Geisels. The guy who's on the spot right now is the catcher, Mike Reeves. Can't let another one get behind him. He's thrown seven consecutive slide pieces to get to uh, Ratliff and Gebhardt. Got Gebhardt by the neck, one and two. Leonard at third, the winning run with one down here in the bottom of the 19th inning. It's a 4-4 tie. Geisels to Gebhardt. And... Here it comes, and Gebhardt swings and pokes it foul. It was a slider that was left up, and Geisels got away with it. That didn't have the same bite as the previous pitches. It's still one and two. Yogi Perez Ramos on deck. He'll hit unless Gebhardt wins it, or Vancouver somehow gets a double play. Outfielders ready to throw somebody out if they need to on a fly ball. One-two pitch. Coming up from Gebhardt. Here it is. Gebhardt takes just outside. Two balls and two strikes. Didn't miss by much. John Leonard reached base on the throwing air by the pitcher Geisels. All the way to second. Went to third on the pass ball. Taylor Ratliff struck out. Two balls and two strikes to Ryan Gebhardt. Righty to righty. Geisels delivers. Gebhardt swings. Sends a fly ball toward right. Down the line. Foul ground, hustling over is Kalfas into a slide to make the catch. Here comes the runner tagging from third. Throw to the plate is dropped by Reeves. Leonard scores, and the Hops win it in the bottom of the 19th inning. The ice bucket is out. They are jumping up and down, mobbing John Leonard, who scores the winning run in the last of the 19th. Hops win it. 5-4.